Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. And now we are going to get into a Brazilian rhythmic journey, particularly because I'm going to show you the maracatu clave, okay? Remembering maracatu is a Brazilian rhythm that takes place in northeast region of Brazil, okay? And I think, uh, well, it will be pretty challenging, particularly because when you are studying independence based on maracatu or based on Brazilian rhythms in general, each limb of our body is an isolated rhythmic voice. You know, originally, Maracatu is play, played on percussion, and that's the reason why each limb of our body is an isolated melody. You know, for example, the shikere, the clavis, because there's a lot of variations of the clave, the maracatu, snare drum patterns, and the traditional maracatu beats that we use to play on bass drum or around the drums using the toms or floor toms. Um, I think uh, it's pretty challenging and, well, that's my, my tip, yeah, that's a tip that I'd like to give you now uh, because I think uh, it's a good way to improve the independence, okay? Uh, well, try to study independence, that's my advice, <laughs> try to study independence based on maracatu, perfect. Well, uh, well, let's face, let, let's face the clave, the maracatu clave that I'm going to show you now um, is like this. I'm gonna play the clave using my right hand and, and I'm gonna quote a choir note using my left foot. Okay, well, as you can feel, the clave starts, and that's the tough part, it starts uh, on a uh, 16th note rest, okay? And that's the tough part because when you are grooving or uh, particularly when you are improvising, you know, or phrasing, you have to come back to the groove and when you do this has uh, 16th note rest waiting for you. <laughs> like a trap, you know? Yeah, man. You are playing like this, you are phrasing or you are improvising. You know, and the clave hits on the second sixteenth note, you know, not on the head of the tempo, you know. And um okay. Well um now I'm gonna play the shikere on my right hand and I'm gonna quote the clave using my left foot. It sounds like this. Perfect. Now I'm going to try to blend it with a traditional marca to beat called marcação. Okay? Okay, now I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna play a traditional maracatu snare drum pattern, but it's not, I think it's not traditional, but uh, it's another, it's an adaptation, okay? Because I'm gonna play using only one hand. Yeah, I'm gonna play using my left hand, and this uh, maracatu snare drum pattern sounds like this. Okay, you can play only the accents of the traditional marca to beat, like this. Or using the ghost notes. Okay, pretty cool. I really love this rhythm. Yeah, it's mind-blowing. <laughs> yeah, pretty challenging, as I said, yeah. 
Well, uh, now I'm gonna try to, well, the last, the last part of the video, okay? I'm gonna try to improvise with the left hand, you know? Really tough. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Well, I hope you enjoyed, stick around for next videos and see you next time.